Fall makes me think of pumpkins, and pumpkins make me think of an artist whose name is Yoyoi Kusama. Yoyoi is a Japanese contemporary artist. Two of the things she's well known for are dots and pumpkins. Today we're going to draw our own pumpkin inspired by Yoyoi Kusama. Pumpkins are made of smaller sections. We're going to use these to help us draw our pumpkin. I'm going to start by drawing in the middle of my paper and make a long oval. This does not have to be a perfect oval. Next, I'm going to start near the top of my oval and make a curved line down to the bottom. I do that on each side. I'm going to repeat this step once more on each side. My shapes create a curve at the bottom and a curve at the top of my pumpkin. Next I'll add a stem. Yoyoi's dots and pumpkins are bold and dynamic. I'm going to use a permanent marker to make my pattern so it will pop just like Yoyoi's. When I'm done, I'm going to carefully cut out my pumpkin. I decided I needed another pumpkin for my drawing, so I'm doing a smaller version on a different color paper. I saved some of the scraps that I had left over from my pink pumpkin. I cut them up into geometric shapes and set them on my table. Now I have a green piece of paper that I'm going to use for my background. I set that on top of the cut up pieces of paper. As I rub my crayon over the surface of the paper, the shapes underneath start to show through. I chose to use geometric shapes for my background. I wanted them to contrast with the organic shape of my pumpkin. It's a very simple abstract background pattern to make it a little bit more interesting. Yoyoi would have probably preferred that I use circles and made polka dots. Now it's time to put the collage together. My pumpkin, just by itself, one large pumpkin in the middle, just wasn't very interesting. So I'm gonna move it to the side and I'm gonna add my smaller pumpkin. And I'm gonna let them overlap a little bit too. And I feel like that's much more interesting design or composition for my project. So because I want the orange one in the background, I'm going to glue that first and use my glue stick. that up in the corner. When you put things further up from the bottom of the paper, it makes them look further away. And also because this one is smaller, it will look further away. And then when I add my larger pumpkin, this makes it look closer. It's bigger and it's closer to the bottom and it's overlapping. 
Those are three different techniques that you can use to create distance or depth in your projects or in your drawings. So, the larger shapes will look closer. Things that are placed closer to the bottom of the paper will look closer. And things that are overlapping on top will look closer. There, now with my two pumpkins, I feel like this is a much more interesting design. And I'm going to sign it and date it. There's my Yayoi Kusama inspired pumpkin project. I hope you try it too.